Hi, how you doing? This is Johnny Miller from Point Blank Online Music School. Uh, back here once more to show you some cool tricks with Ableton Live 8 and some sounds and samples from clickproduce.com. Uh, this week we're going all ambient and uh, alternative and looking at the Prime Loops Trip Fantasia collection of sounds. And this uh, collection here is a little bit different. We just get one folder, ambient soundscapes. And in here we don't have drum loops or one shots or anything like that. These are more kind of textural soundscapes much longer samples some of them over one minute long quite rich in production in terms of sound quality and the range of sounds that are used but these these are ideal for using in intros for your tracks and maybe in breakdowns all sorts of things we can do with this. I'm going to pick up um, this one here, Mo uh, Morning Riser C5. And I'm just going to drag that over into session view and uh, I've got a beat here ready to go. Um, I'm going to show you a really cool trick with uh, an Ableton Live device called Autopan uh, to essentially cut up and create what's called a, a, a gated effect on this sample. So it sounds nice on its own, and if I just put the beat on, we could use this as, a, like I say, an intro for a track. Or if we've paid a bit more attention to where things are happening, actually use it for melody in our track. But I'm just going to turn that beat off for a minute and go to my devices browser and pick out uh, a device called Autopan, as I mentioned, and just drag it down onto Audio Track 2. Now Autopan kind of does what it says on the tin, really. It pans the signal from left to right. Panning is just another word for balance, just like the balance control on your hi-fi, to send the signal from the left speaker to the right speaker. And if I just turn up the amount, especially if you're listening to this on headphones or on a stereo system, you'll be able to hear that really clearly, moving from left to right in the stereo picture. We can use Autopan creatively as well to actually create a nice gated effect. If I just switch on Beats mode, and now the rate, the speed of the Autopan, I'm just going to set that to 1 over 16. Actually it was on 1 over 16. But the magic comes where I take the phase up to 360. And now what we've got is essentially an on-off effect. Instead of being a, a left-right panning, I've just got an up-down volume effect. And I can kind of fine-tune it just by using the shape control and also the wave shape selector here to create different types of on-off Essentially, this is known as a gated effect. Now, to add a little bit of texture here, I'm just going to throw in reverb too. And this is just going to soften the effect of auto pan and just give us a little bit of a smoother sound. Let's put the beat back on. Because auto pan is in beats mode, the on off effect that auto pan is giving me here is in perfect sync with the tempo of my track. We get this really lovely rhythmic effect. Now of course we've got the option at any time to just bring the amount down and just take that auto pan effect off. or throw it on. Let's bring this decay time up a bit.
just get a really big kind of room effect, hall effect on this reverb. a lot that we can do there in terms of just building a, a bass function, a bass element of our track. Uh, we could add bass to that, we could add other keys to that, other samples, um, but just using one of those long kind of ambient textures uh, and adding the auto pan to give us a rhythmic effect. Uh, it's a nice way to get going and start using some of these long ambient samples in your dance tracks. Anyway, you can uh, check out loads more techniques uh, similar to this uh, on uh, www.pointblankonline.net and uh, I'll see you again sometime. Peace.